It has to be free and fair trade if we're talking about trade policy. I believe Lee Iacocca said, you know, what's good for me has to be good for you. We need to follow that. We need to follow that pattern uh, and follow that sort of that motto. However, you know, looking at Virginia in the fifth district, um, any tariff that looks like a tax on fifth district business, there comes a time where I have to fight for that business and to ensure that they have that opportunity for free trade. So it really is a one-by-one -one case here in the fifth district, but also in the Commonwealth. Um, tobacco growers and say a lumber company like Georgia Pacific might completely disagree on how the tariffs are, are affecting their business. And what I found is that some people are for it and some people are against. So I believe what's happening right now with the administration is they're trying to force a fair and free trade based on the tariffs that they're imposing right now. At some point though, it's the law of diminishing returns, right, and you have people that are affected. So I have to look at it case by case. I wish I could give you a 100% answer, uh, but I think it's safe to say as a businessman, I can say that I have to take each case separately because there's no way to say there's just one overarching way to actually control, t you know, a specifically tariff policy, but also the taxes that could be accrued by businesses or the loss of income in the fifth district. So I have to take it on a case by case basis. If there's any trade policy that I agree with, I'll come out and agree with it. But I don't care who's in the National Command Authority or who's president. If that policy is affecting the 5th District or it's something that goes against the liberty of those people to run their companies, I'm going to fight for them.